cannabis stocks, and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live. What's up, guys? Aaron here from Departures Capital, and we're here with Rich TV Live. What's going on, Rich? Oh, just uh, living the dream, man, living the dream. Of course, of course. So first thing I wanted to talk about today was everyone's all excited about we got one day left legalization and there's some volatility in the markets. So let's get your take on that. And yeah, let's just hear it. I think volatility is good for the markets. I think that the reason that the cannabis industry is so polarizing as far as I'm concerned is that all the stocks have tremendous liquidity, tremendous volume. And if you look at like the gold sector, the oil and gas sector, especially in Canada, you can't even compare the liquidity and the volume in the cannabis sector to any other industry in Canada right now. So it makes it very polarizing. It makes it very exciting. And it's those highs and those lows that people <laughs> get very excited about. It's a roller coaster ride. It's something to talk about. It's, it's newsworthy. So totally. I think that's the reason why it's so polarizing and that's the reason why so many people are interested in the industry. So I think that the volatility is the number one reason that this industry is the talk of the investing sector right now. Yeah, totally. It's been, I mean, it's been a wild ride today, but I mean, I mean, I still think like people, people saw new all time highs and they just took some profit and then we're going to stabilize continue to head higher that's just my opinion yeah i i've been saying this all year i mean i predicted this explosion since january said that we were going to have an epic explosion we've already had that august we were up i believe over 20 percent for the sector yeah yeah september yeah. we were up for the sector october i believe we are up for the sector so i mean what else can you ask for there are members yeah. within our community that have made hundreds, thousands, some have made millions, some have made hundreds, uh, some mm. people have 10 X their accounts. Some people have doubled their accounts. Some people have tripled their accounts. If you are buying in the red and you're selling the green and you are following a system, you are winning. There's no doubt about it right now. Yeah, exactly. Now tomorrow legalization, do you think we'll see any moves, anything else? Yeah, I think we're going to see sneak attacks everywhere. I believe we're going to see news everywhere. I believe we're just going to con see continued strength in the sector. Could we see red? Yeah, we could see red. Uh, today we've seen green, then we've seen red. I mean, it's been a roller coaster ride, but that's the industry. That's what makes it so polarizing. That's why we love it so much. We need to learn how to embrace this volatility. And one thing I'm really trying to educate our members about is on a red day, we're shopping. On a green day, we're making money. Green days are money days. Red days are shopping days. Learn to treat it as such. Yeah, I mean, to be honest, when I see a red day, I actually get excited. Recent, like, I Sometimes I get more excited about a red day than I do a green day. Just because I know I'm buying that day and I love to buy. I, love, I just love buying. I mean, selling, for me, selling is harder than buying. Because... Yeah. I, you know, uh, well, I, I actually, for me, selling is hard. Selling is easier than buying. Okay. Because for me, the selling is easy because I already know my strategy. I know I'm going to buy in the red, yeah. sell in the green. So as soon as I see 10% green or more, I already got yeah. my finger on the trigger. I'm already thinking about selling every time. So I'm very easy to sell. But for me, it's the buying. That's the hard part. The entry. Getting in low is the hardest thing. Getting in low, being patient, being a sniper, being a ninja. I don't have the patience. That is my biggest, uh, my biggest uh, pet peeve is I just don't have the patience because I got so many things going on, on the phone, talking to subscribers, doing videos, collaborating with guys like yourself. I just don't got the time to sit there in front of the computer and be patient and, and look for that 52 week low. So what I do is I watch stocks, I date them, I own them. And when I see that they're low based on the fact that I'm watching them because I own them most of the time, that's when I'm buying low. And I just, and I just get to know their tendencies. Yeah, no, it's true. I feel like every stock almost has a personality. It's interesting. 
Yeah, and you get to know when it's down. Like, I knew XLY was down. I was telling everyone in my community it was down, and that's why everybody was buying it at a dollar. And now it went to dollar fifty today, and a lot of people have already sold today and made 50%. I mean, that's what it is. You know, I knew. I know Vivo's down. I know that XLY is down. I know that HIP is down. They've all been much higher. They all can go yeah. much higher. They're not at 52 week highs. So I know yeah, which exactly. ones are at 52 week highs and which ones are not because I've been watching them. So Aurora Cannabis is at a 52 week high. Canopy Growth is at a 52 week high, right? Those stocks yeah, are Yeah, exactly. There's, there's reasons why those stocks are down or went down today, you know, but to hit a new 52 week high. There's no reason to panic, but it makes sense. People are going to take profit. Who's not going to take profit? A 52 week high. You have to. So if you know everybody else is taking their profits at a 52 week high, why are you holding? Ask yourself yeah, that. True. You know, if I'm in at a stock at 1550 and I see it's going to 1530, 1520, 1510, 15, I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. <laughs> Whatever, man. Let everybody else sit there and hold the bag. I don't need to hold the bag. <laughs> it's all good. So we got legalization tomorrow. So what are you up to? What are you going to be doing tomorrow? Yeah, so hopefully you guys have your legalization parties organized. I will be going yep. to a very large legalization party. Uh, it's very top secret. VIP <laughs> invite only. There will be celebrities there. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say. I, I don't really want to spoil it until I make some videos and have evidence for yeah. you guys. Because everybody doubts me. Every time I say anything, oh, you're not meeting this guy. It's not true. It's not true. You know, oh, Rich is not meeting this guy. You're not meeting that company. It's not true. So I'm going to wait to actually make the video and uh, before I drop any names. Um, but hopefully there will be some celebrities that we can uh, talk to tomorrow. And that might even be interested in coming on our show and doing some collaborations and potentially investing in some of the companies that we are a part of. So there's a lot of exciting things that are going to be coming. We are working on a few IPOs ourselves that we are going to be doing some work with very soon here. So yeah, there's a lot of good news and there's a lot of exciting things happening. And tomorrow, obviously cannabis is legalizing. I've been talking about it all year. I've been having the countdown all year. Uh, now we're down to less than a day. It's like 16 yeah, it's or 15 crazy. hours away. Like we're 15 hours away. Like it's hard to believe, but it's so exciting and it's exciting for a lot of reasons. It's exciting because, you know, we're talking about it every day. It's exciting yeah. because we're in the industry, Rich TV yeah. Live and our and our and our members and our community, we are in the CBD industry. We are in the hemp industry. We are working with companies directly in so many different capacities. And we are going to be doing media for companies. And I know Departures Capital will be doing media for companies as well. And we are going to be working with them to help them with CBDs. And hopefully we can help them with, you know, potentially getting more investors involved. You know, whatever capacity we can help these companies with, we want to be able to do that legally. And we're excited about the opportunity. And we're excited that companies are watching. Companies are watching. Yeah, it's really nice. Yeah, you know, companies are watching. We know they're watching. And we're excited about that. And hopefully we can just continue to provide good quality content that people enjoy. People like watching. And people are going to continue to enjoy so that we can continue to put out more content. And we can continue to do what we do best, which is just bring people the news and, and bring breaking news. Like you heard about what Aurora is doing today, right? Oh, yeah. New CBD uh, exactly. licensing, which nobody yeah. else has. So Aurora Cannabis, if you're watching, your boy Rich actually has a lot of relationships in the CBD space, in the isolate space, so in the hemp space. So if you're interested, you know, holler at your boy. We'd love to be able to work with you in some type of capacity because those licenses are top notch. Very big so, news. One more thing. To end it off on a brighter note, just kidding, but it's kind of a joke. What do you think Andrew Left is doing for legalization day? Wow. I don't know. That's a good question. I didn't even think about it. I haven't thought about him much. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to say it. Honestly, that guy's the last guy on my mind going into legalization. This is celebration time. This is I not know. the time to talk about Dr. Evil, Mr. Kryptonite. <laughs> Mr. Kryptonite cannot stop this movement. This movement is real. 
Recreational cannabis will be legalizing in Canada, in Canada tomorrow. It's true. Yeah. If you're not winning, you're not watching. Now remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence. Do your research. Don't invest in something just because you heard it here first. You're obviously going to hear it here first. We break everything first. It's true. All right, guys. <laughs> so that wraps up this video. Um, have a good day, Rich. And uh, I look forward to more collabs with you. Love you guys, man. Thanks, Aaron. Appreciate it, man. Always a pleasure, buddy. Have a good one. Peace. Cannabis stocks and CEO interviews brought to you by Rich TV Live.